Hi people, I did put up a clip yesterday on Daily Motion under Lisa Fallure and um, I didn't put it on YouTube because uh, I don't like to really put the same things on YouTube as I put on Daily Motion and also I was a little bit embarrassed because my kitchen is very cluttered and, and worse, it's kind of dirty and my sink shows a lot of lime scale and crud and I just thought it looked really pathetic but what the heck you know it's my kitchen it's not always it's not always quite right this piece of crud on the wall this is a cocotte and I've had some people inquire about these this is a very basic uh, French cook pot and they're called Dutch ovens in the United States the thing is uh, if if you want to buy one try to get one with indentations in it there are some which have a very big deep indentation there are some which have smaller grooves it's for a reason it's to simulate cooking this on the hearth of a big fireplace in like a one room farmhouse where the room is very cold and so to reproduce that for certain french dishes uh, the grooved area not only helps keep the, the top area cooler and the bottom area has some heat but you can actually put ice cubes or extremely cold water in here for certain dishes um, this is an Italian cook pot which I've shown you before and this always stays on the stove also uh, because I'm not a neat freak who has to put things away every t every day all the time. I do have much too much clutter in my life. It's not good, but that's just the way I am. And this is stainless steel, and I ordered it from Italy. And I've mentioned before that if you have stainless steel cook cookware, don't add salt to it because it'll corrode much more quickly. You see, there's a lot of lime scale on this colander inside for cooking pasta and all sorts of things and quite a bit on the pot so sometimes I fill it with water and some white vinegar and let that soak a bit and sometimes I put the whole thing in the dishwasher with a, an anti-lime scale substance which you need for your appliances here and um, a rinsing solution uh, if I were to clean this now, which I'm not going to do, it's a Sunday, it's day off, um, it would be full of this crud within a week anyway. It's really annoying. The water's very hard here. That's why I tell guests, um, try not to drink the tap water here if you visit France. I found the same thing was true in Italy also. This is beef jowl. Jus de boeuf. It's, it's just started and it was a little bit hard to cut it's about 10 euros a kilo so it's not that cheap but I couldn't find any recipes for it in any of my American cookbooks so I looked on YouTube and I found some French language clips um, th this is just water this is an onion with the skin on because they say that the skin if you leave it on it makes a more flavor and a nicer color that green stuff floating around in there is Herbe de Provence. It's an herb mixture. There are some different types of peppercorns, a few uh, juniper berries. Um, there's a clove, a pinch of nutmeg. The rest is just uh, water. I didn't add any salt. Um, this is going to cook for quite some time. This is on an electric burner. And uh, I'll probably turn this off before we go to sleep tonight and covered a lot of French people put these cocottes out on their balconies you turn it off you let it go to room temperature you put it out on the windowsill if it's not going to fall or the balcony and it sits out there cool or cold all night and in the morning you bring it back in and you scrape off the fat which comes to the surface because you have allowed it to cool before you put it in a cold place and what this is going to be cooked with tomorrow is some frozen green beans which I blanched 
some blanched carrots. They suggest some turnip. I don't have any. I'm going to use some fennel. We might get a turnip at the store tomorrow. And the lady who showed this recipe says it makes a poto, pato, poto food. And she said that um, the fancier vegetables, which will be cooked tomorrow, get put in a bowl with some walnut oil vinaigrette on them. I don't have any walnut oil, but I do have salad oil, and I've got some walnuts and some fresh herbs. I'm going to use some cilantro and some tarragon. And you spoon that over them and then put a little bit of the bouillon in the bottom and then have another bowl of the clear bouillon and a plate of the beef jowls. We've never had this before. This is a new recipe. Okay, that's it. Uh, see you later. Bye.